All right, welcome to another staycation edition of OTR. I'm Brandon, along with the heel Will Mahoney. It's breakfast time, Pally, in the AM. That's right, and oh my God, who knew that Wendy's had breakfast? Well, Harmony from the SAS told us about it last week. She found it in her travels, and we have found it as well, not too far from SAS headquarters in Arlington, Virginia. We'll be right back to show you what we got for breakfast and what's going down. You are looking live at Wendy's on the corner of Wilson and Clarendon Boulevards in North Arlington, Virginia, near the courthouse region for something that we thought we would never see. And that's right, it's Wendy's breakfast. Holy cow. We got quite a few items to tell you about today. First off, I got the honey butter chicken biscuit, uh, which cost $2.69. Basically what that is, well, I won't hold your potatoes there for a second, Will. <laughs> there we go. So I can open this up without incident. Make some room here. There we go. You got a buttermilk biscuit. Oh, yeah. 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 With a uh, fried chicken patty on the inside. Looks like it's one of their good sandwich patties. And apparently some kind of honey butter in there as well. Can't see that because it appears to have melted. Next up, Will got uh, Morning Melt Panini time. This is looking pretty darn strong. Got your thick, thick bread with the panini marks on it. Got, you know, your typical egg. You can get bacon or sausage. I went with sausage. Looks like we got some cheddar cheese here. It's steaming hot, mm -hmm. freshly pressed. High quality looking item here. I'm very, very impressed with the presentation on that. I opted for the combo version. So I also got their seasoned potato, like All potato right. wedges that are kind of wow. flat, and they look pretty darn good too, and they seem to be pretty fresh. And of course the uh, coffee, which we discovered apparently is the Redhead Roasters All at right. Wendy's. All right, interesting. I guess red had something to do with that. Mm -hmm. And then I also got the um, Wendy's uh, Biscuits and Gravy, and basically for $2.49, you get a mess of bis Whoa. biscuits and sausage gravy with tons of creamy white junk in there. <laughs> As I discovered when I was trying to situate things and got it all over my steering wheel, that <laughs> looked kind of sketchy. Uh, $2.49 for this, and I as well got myself a medium uh, version of the Redhead Brewery or Redhead Roasters Coffee, $1.49. Yeah, and the price point on the Panini combo is uh, $5.93 with tax. $5.39 is the base on that. Okay. So. Under six bucks, get you potatoes, panini, and a coffee here in Virginia. All right, well, we'll be right back to taste these items and to tell you more about them here on OTR. All right, that stuff looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, what else would you expect from Wendy's? Now, one thing I noticed, they didn't have a lot of the typical breakfast items like your pancakes. There's no or pancakes. Waffles. No, or no, the enemy that is. Nothing it, like that. It was mostly sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The, the biscuits and gravy is definitely an uh, unexpected item. Yep. That's not exactly travel friendly, but I will give it this. It it smells good. Yeah. It smells damn good. It sure does. It's just maybe something more, more so to be eaten in the establishment. I would but say so. I guess we'll see. But the presentation is good. It just doesn't travel well necessarily. All right. Well, in the interest of time here, let's go ahead and try our sandwiches at the same time and right tell, tell everybody what we think. I got the honey butter uh, chicken, as you see now from the side, a nice big chunky sandwich, a uh, buttery looking biscuit. I'm excited to try it. All right, the sausage panini melt is going down here mm. with the big huge chunks of bread and cheese. Mm. Mmm, a little dry, but mm -hmm. I can deal with that. Mm, okay, well, since I'm done chewing first, I will tell you that yes, this is dry, but it does have the honey butter flavor, which is very, very interesting when it hits that fried chicken. Uh, gives it a real nice kind of down-home taste. The biscuit is nice and flaky. Uh, and moist on the inside. Just the whole kind of package is a little dry and you need maybe a little more lubrication from some kind of source, I don't know, where you might want to put some ketchup on it if you're like that or some other kind of lubricant. But um, overall, it's pretty good, not bad for the price. I don't like it quite as much as, say, the uh, over-buttered uh, Chick-fil-A 
uh, chicken biscuit in the morning. That thing is fantastic. Uh, that would be a full thumbs up. This one's getting a three quarters from me. What did you think about that panini sandwich? The, 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 the panini melt, I tell you. You're on, you're on the right track there with what you were saying. Mm -hmm. The key word here is dry. The, there's a lot of bread there. Mm -hmm. And the bread's good, it's toast good, it's all nice and warm, and it should be breakfasty goodness. But it's missing something. The sausage, the egg, there's a bunch of pepper in there on the egg. I don't know if it's just the combo of that and the cheese or whatever, but it's dry. Just like Brian was saying on his, I mean, look, look at there's a bunch of like seasoning on there. Um, it's missing something. Maybe spicier sausage. Maybe, Maybe some kind of, some Tabasco might help. I think it's the combination of there's so much bread that that's drying it out some. But I mean, it's cooked. It's not horrible. It needs more seasoning. It needs more punch. Okay. Something more to it, some spice. It's a good size, substantial sandwich. And with just a little extra kick, I'd be much more into it. It's a, it's a kind of a big meh. Mm. I'm gonna go, it's not horrible, there's potential, there's a lot of potential here. Okay. I'm gonna go half. All right, It's half it's up. It could be better, it could be better, but they're on the right track. All right, well, we got our other items, you got your potatoes and yes. I got my biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy made a man of me, mm -hmm. just like our boys Festus and Jesse used to say. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh, nice and uh, mushy at this point, because they've been sitting here for a minute in that creamy white junk. Let me go ahead and check these out. Mm. Okay. One more taste with a little more sausage on it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not the most flavorful biscuits and gravy I've ever had. Uh, and I think the thing that's lacking is black pepper. Mm. That's something that's very prevalent usually in your biscuits and gravy. That's what mine is needing too. There's mm -hmm. pepper on it, but there's, you don't taste it. Yeah. Uh, it's just not getting that peppery flavor. And it's also a little runny compared to a lot of biscuit gravy that I've had before. Uh, see if I can... It's a little... Yeah, it's not... It's watery. It's a little watery. Not real thick. Maybe a little more flour involved there and a little mm. pepper and that would improve it. Uh, the sausage tastes pretty good and the biscuit is nice. I'm going to go ahead and give this a two-thirds thumbs up, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so now the potatoes, and heck, we might as well both do these All since right. we got, you know, multiples of them. They're nice and golden brown looking. Mmm. Now, these have some seasoning. Mm -hmm, they do. These, this is the most flavorful thing I've had so far. Mmm. I like it. These are strong. Mmm. These are, like, they're peppery. Kind of got a hash brown kind of taste, almost yep. a little bit of a hash brown kind of consistency. A little kind of onion back thing going on yeah. there. Yeah, these are, this is, for my money, this is the strongest part of the equation. The yep. seasoned potatoes are pretty damn good. These I'll go full thumbs up on. All right. I'm liking yep. these. I'm liking them too. I'm thinking uh, full thumbs up as well. They would taste good with ketchup, without ketchup. Oh, yeah. Just by either themselves, way, they're fine. They're pretty good. Yeah. I would scarf them down either way. Um, mm. Damn. That okay. leaves the coffee. That leaves the coffee. You might as well quickly, you know. The redhead roasters. Complete the Wendy's breakfast experience. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just hot. <laughs> yeah. It's really hot. Uh, yeah. It's not real flavorful, but I don't like a, 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 a dominantly flavored coffee anyway. I like something yeah. that's a little more mellow. Uh, it's, a, it's a very middle of the road, you know, nothing bold, nothing going to yeah. you know, sock you or anything, but it's, it's, it's coffee. It's acceptable. It's yeah. not the worst coffee I've ever had. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Half thumb up. Yeah, half thumb up. I agree with you on that one. All right. Well, we had a look at the Wendy's breakfast, a thing of myth, something you may not have in your area, <laughs> but we do here in this very busy hustle and bustle area in North Arlington. I have one story about this particular location. I've never eaten at this location, but one time in 1995, and you may remember this, the day uh -oh. that uh, I got fired from the candy store. Mm -hmm. We all got together, us and a few of our friends, and we drove around and just did stuff. Uh, may have been some alcohol involved at some point <laughs> or another, but um, we drove past this Wendy's and there was a man standing out front. It was probably close to midnight at that point. Oh yes! And he looked absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, it was like a, it was a madman. He was it just his eyes did not blink. They were no. like this big around, staring off into space, staring off into space. One of the craziest looking people yep. I've legitimately seen in my entire life. 
was standing out in front of this Wendy's in 1995. Yes. Maybe you can find him. If there's any murders that happened in this area, I bet you it was that guy. Yeah, that guy was weird. He sure Nobody was. around, middle of the night, just, just like blitzed out of his mind mm -hmm. crazy absolutely mm. so that's about all i have to say about this wendy's <laughs> here. breakfast at wendy's is okay with me i wouldn't you know rush out to get it but it's you know if you're in the area and your wendy's has breakfast give it a shot yeah. it's, they're on the right track it just it needs a little bit of improvement that sandwich would be strong it just mm. needs seasoning and needs some kick to it maybe if mine had a slice of cheese i don't know the cheese didn't add nothing to mine they okay. just add to the dryness like okay. i said keyword dry it was the potatoes dry. though Mm. Yeah, potatoes are good. <laughs> Red, keep up the good work with the potatoes. But, uh, you know, come up with some more ideas for breakfast. We're listening. We're ready to try them. Uh, you need to check out the SAS by clicking on the link down below and joining our group on Facebook. About 250, uh, not million, members, 250 members strong. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS at Heal Will Mahoney. And you got to hit... Snash, yeah, not snash tag, snash hashtag tag. Snack Society, ha thing. hash brown tag. There you go. <laughs> hash brown, <laughs> Snack Society, all day, every, every day. And also uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube. We really want to hit that thousand uh, subscriber yes. uh, mark and we want to do it in short order. Thanks for watching. One more video coming up this week. That's pizza night. You'll see it tomorrow night. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Keep eating.